Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If it is your first time tuning in, my name is Amber. So today I did a grocery haul and I also wanted to bring you along and get you motivated to deep clean your refrigerator and show you how I keep my refrigerator nice and organized after grocery shopping. I hope you guys enjoy this style of video. I wanted to do something a little bit different. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you comment down below and if it's your first time tuning in, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join my family here. So I want to excuse my voice throughout this video I did just get over being sick so if I sound really congested or really hoarse throughout the video that is why so we're gonna dive right in I'm gonna show you guys the grocery haul first and we're gonna dive right into the deep cleaning okay starting with the non food items for this week um, what I grabbed was some more of this snuggle refresh this is like um and a room freshener it's a fabric freshener too but it's a good odor eliminating technology this stuff is amazing you guys hands down the best stuff that I've used as far as like a room freshener or um, a fabric refresher so if you guys have not tried it definitely it's only I think it's under three dollars it's like 276 or something like that it smells really good and the smell lasts then I needed to just grab some wipes for the kids we're currently battling uh, whatever this virus is that's going around. I've shared this in some of my um, other cleaning videos, like when I've done laundry. Um, this is really good. Uh, so this is a laundry sanitizer. They have it in um, two other, I, I don't know if it's scents or there's, there, I know there's a sport um, version of this too. So if you have um, kids that are like in sports or they're really good for like work clothes as well, but this is a good sanitizer i like to use this on towels and then whenever we're fighting sickness i'll wash all of their bedding with the laundry sanitizer and then also some of the other non-food i grabbed the boys some more sippy cups this has been my favorite so far you guys know i have four kids so we've been through literally every type of sippy cup every type of bottle we no longer do bottles of course but um tink and samira have sippy cups and they seem to lose them as much as they lose socks so i'm always buying cups so i just needed to grab another one of these and these are 447 for the pack of two so really affordable and i believe hands down they are leak proof i've tried the walmart ones and not so much at first they were but we essentially have always went back to these so moving on to the beverages so I grabbed me a case of root beer. Yes, I'm bad. I've been drinking pop lately. Quick <laughs> comment below if you say pop or if you say soda. I know people that are like from the south say soda. Um, I'm in the Midwest um, and North. We say pop. Sometimes we say soda. Let me know down in the comments. What do you say? Then I grabbed a gallon of milk, some apple juice for the kids and just a pack of their juices. I like to get this kind since it's zero sugar. I've been doing this for a while. And we grab some yogurt. So this is just some yogurt for me. These are really affordable. I like these. They compare to, um, what is it, the Yoplait. And these are only $1.24 for a pack of four. You can't beat that, you guys. Then of course the kids and their Danimals, they love these. Then I grab two packs of the yogurt tubes. Lakin really likes these. These are really affordable too. They're only $1.60 a box and you get eight of them in there. And then the kids, some waffles. These are their favorite ones I've shared in other grocery hauls. We also like the cinnamon, I think it's the thick and fluffy, but I've been just getting these for the kids um, since we don't really eat breakfast all the time. So this is easier for them and it's just the big family pot, family pack, can't talk. And some of the fruits and vegetables I got for this week. I got the kids some of their little cutie mandarins. They love these. A bag of potatoes. I haven't bought a big bag for a while, but um, I want to make some fried potatoes for dinner one night. And then um, just some other things with the potatoes. One thing of bananas. Just a small bag of grapes. The kids don't really eat grapes like that. I can't get them. I think it's a texture thing currently. But they love bananas. They love oranges. So, I mean, some fruit's better than none, right? And then I just grabbed some um, green leaf lettuce for some sandwiches. And then some of the frozen items that we have. I just grabbed a bag of shrimp. And then some tilapia. Just a small bag. Um, trying to think how many comes in here. I think at least six. I want to say at least six. 
And then some hot dogs for the kids. Whenever we're just doing quick things for them, I just usually get this brand, nothing fancy. They're all the same. And I grabbed me some sour cream. I've been liking it this way lately. I think it's much easier than having to scoop it out. I like it this way. So if you do sour cream, I recommend just getting it in the pouch. I've been doing it, buying it this way for a couple months now and I don't think I'll ever buy it in the container again. And I grabbed two bags of the mashed potatoes. Whenever I don't do real, these are my go-to and the only instant potatoes I will eat. I will not eat any other kind because these are the only ones that do not taste like cardboard to me. And then all of my meat deals I got, what Lakin, he's currently tapping me on the back, you guys. He's been asking if he could film the video. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Oh, now you wanna be shy. <laughs> back to the meat. So I grabbed one roll of ground beef. I already currently have one in the freezer. And then I also have a roll of ground turkey in the freezer. And then I grabbed these since they were on clearance. I will probably, since they say use or freeze by the 27th, today is actually the 27th when I'm filming this, when I went grocery shopping. So we will probably actually eat these tomorrow for lunch or dinner. And then oh, I got a whole bunch of different chicken. So I'm gonna actually freeze these because all of these are use or freeze by the 27th. So these will all get frozen. I'll just put these in freezer bags. So I just got two of these, that'll be one meal. And then I grabbed some drumsticks, really good price and then some chicken thighs. So that'll be two different meals and then one meal itself. And then to end it off, I just got this big party size of Oreos. These are our favorite cookies. I've been trying to get it in the party size. They never have it on stock. And I actually had an Ibotta, Lake and chill out. He's like crawling on the floor. I don't know, kids are so weird sometimes. But I actually have an Ibotta coupon cash back for this. I haven't been using my Ibotta, you guys. I've been really horrible. My life's just been crazy. Um, so I got these finally. And then some Pringles for Khalif. This is his favorite kind. A bag of Cheeto Puffs for the kids. A big party size of the Doritos. Just the nacho kind. I didn't get my Cool Ranch. And a thing of hamburger buns for our burgers. I did get two bags of these. One is opened because I had Samir with me and you gotta keep your kids occupied somehow. So the other bag is open. And then just two bags of donuts for the kids. So that's their quick breakfast when I go to work and Kelly needs to just feed them something quick. So this was everything that I got for the week. Lakin, you say hi. Oh no, I don't want to say hi. So now I'm going to show you guys how I get it all organized. But first we're going to clean out the fridge real quick. And then I'm going to show you how I get everything organized and put all of it away. Now that I have pretty much all of the refrigerator cleaned out, I'm just checking and tossing out the last of the expired so I can take these drawers out. These get pretty nasty, especially underneath. And then uh, at the bottom of the refrigerator, as you can see, that gets pretty gross too. So I take all of that out so I can get it all scrubbed down.
I wanted to show you guys a clip of how disgusting the bottom of the refrigerator is. So gross. So yeah, I try to do this at least once a month, you guys, because the kids constantly opening it, stuff spilling, it leads to this ickiness.
Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But now the never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw. Her. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. So I like to just organize the water. Usually I keep it all on the bottom here. I did see organ um, organizer containers for waters, but we like to have a lot in the fridge at once. So I figured I'd take more space to use those. So this is the only thing I don't store in a container in the refrigerator or like milk, obviously, or gallons of juices, stuff like that. But all of my containers that I'm using, my acrylic containers in this video, I got everything from Marshalls. So the egg the egg holders i think they were like 3.99 these little small containers that i'm putting the yogurts in they were 2.99 and then i have a couple other different sizes yes and i'm guilty of not taking the stickers off of these <laughs> one of them i did try if you guys could give me some tips on how to get the stickiness off the sticker once you get it ripped off that would be great i think that's why i always just leave them on there because i feel like it's a mess dealing with getting the stickers off Out of luck and now it's my time Ain't no looking back, I'm on the right track Here she goes Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky I Whenever I'm not buying soda, I will store sometimes juices in this container or I'll store the sto sodas. Sometimes I'll buy the smaller cans um, because I don't really like to buy it that often. But once in a while I have my craving and I want to drink pop all of a sudden. So I'm going to just store those in this container. And then I have another container that I like to keep the kids' juices in. To store my fruits and vegetables um, before I used to keep everything in the bag and I noticed that everything was going bad really fast it wasn't lasting especially if the kids weren't eating it as fast so then I started seeing other people put it in like containers and stuff like that so I figured I would just take the extra step and do that myself so these containers it was actually a set and I got it at Marshall's I think there was around like $9.99 or something like that so I just like to rinse off um, the fruits and I usually keep my lettuce as you see I store my lettuce in the containers 
and then I keep it in there and I feel like it lasts so much longer. The next thing I would like to get, I see that there are like these sheets that you can put at the bottom of the containers and it helps keep it fresher longer. I don't know if it works or not. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used those and if you would recommend those. Thinking about him again I know that your heart's been broken You should try and let it go And start being yourself You, you You can put on your dress We can play your favorite song And I will take care of you Care of you, care of you This is what we need This is what we have to do Tell me, can you feel it too, feel it too Maybe you should go Finally, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my chicken prepped and put it in the freezer bags. So in between, I do wash my hands, just in case you're wondering why my hands look like they're soaking wet. Um, I like to just do that once I'm touching like counter and all of that stuff. So um, these were just small packages. If I buy big ones every so often, I'll split them to like four a bag, just because it just depends on what we're eating for the night. Um, and I feel like it's easier that way to take out versus putting like a ton of them in a freezer bag. So with this, um, for the most part, if I know I'm not going to eat it right away, I probably will put like a marker on there so I can date it so I know how long I have before I need to use it. But in this case, since I didn't have a lot, I didn't even write on it because we'll probably eat it within the week. Red eyes, strobe lights moving across the walls You're looking like a movie star But I don't know just what you are Seems like you're top to be on the floor You're looking for a kind of queen The baddest one you've ever seen you're shining red as crystal, moving like a twister. Ooh, I'm swaying through the hips, boy, loving every disco. Ooh, so you say you're loving somebody else, that I am only for tonight. Yeah, you say you're gone and still you're in my bed. You're loving how I read your mind. So you say, say, so you say, say. So 
that sums up today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed this style of video let me know down in the comments if you did like seeing my grocery haul and also like to see in how i clean and organize my refrigerator whenever i'm doing some grocery shopping i don't always do this as far as like deep cleaning it i don't do it every time i go grocery shopping but i do try to at least once a month fully clean it out and get it nice and decluttered and organized if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you like and you subscribe if you are tuning in for the first time i would love to have you here thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one bye